Hey guys, are you having trouble of figuring out what are the good or what are the best condiments to have during your keto journey? Well, I've got a few of my own that I like to use. So if that's something that you're interested in and learning how or knowing what great condiments are out there for the keto diet, just stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. If you're new here, I'm Sam and welcome to the crew family. Now, um, I just wanted to share a few little condiments with you guys that I enjoy in our keto lifestyle. Now, I know a lot of you have sent me some DMs and messages along with a few emails asking me what condiments are out there for the keto diet. You don't know. So the only thing I can say is read the label. If the label is good, then you can pretty much have it on keto. Um, I would steer clear of bad oils such as sunflower oil, safflower oil, canola oil, anything like that that is in a condiment. Um, sometimes you, it's kind of unavoidable, so it just depends on you. There are some companies out there that do not put those in their condiments. Um, and I would steer clear of sugars. Now, anything less than one gram of sugar is okay. But I try to steer clear of sugar as much as possible. So if it's got sugar on the label and a condiment, I don't necessarily buy it, depending on the amount of sugar in there. Now, some condiments are sweetened with stevia, monk fruit, xylitol, anything like that is perfectly fine for keto. Now, let's just go over a few of the of my favorite condiments that I like to use pretty much every day um, in my keto journey because what's life without condiments you know so let's go over just a few the first one we're gonna start off with is butter now you've probably heard me talk about butter before especially in my last video if you've watched that one um, it's very informative so you can head back and check that one out but today we're going to be talking about butter now I like to cook with butter especially real butter um, there are lots of margarine look-alikes out there and I would recommend you not buy those um, they're just whipped oil with butter flavoring in it and it's not really good for you if you're going to use butter make sure you use real butter and you're going to be shocked at the difference um, in how your food tastes compared to margarine now there are quite a few fats out there that you can use um, like Kerrygold, there's pure Irish roll butter. We get that locally here. I'm not sure if you can get that anywhere else, but I would check around and make sure um, because that's made out of sheep's milk or cow's milk and it's really, really fresh. So I would recommend checking that out. You can also do challenge butter, which is nothing but cream, milk, and salt you can do ghee which is pretty much clarified butter now ghee is if you want that butter flavor i would definitely go with ghee it's great to cook with and it adds so much flavor to the food that you're preparing so i use it in eggs um you know i do it with my 90 second bread for toast and it just adds so much flavor to the food that you are cooking um, tallow is another one although that is grease it's a uh, fat from an animal so like rendered fat it's really really good and really really flavorful so I would also check that out 
Another one is bacon grease. Um, I do keep bacon grease in my refrigerator at all times because it just adds so much flavor to the foods that you're preparing. Um, it doesn't take too much to render the fat from bacon. I'm pretty sure you've tossed your bacon fat out plenty of times and that's okay. But what I like to do is after I prepare my bacon, I just let the bacon fat cool down in the pan and then I just put it into a little jar and attach the lid and keep it in my refrigerator and it will stay in there for, for a while. Um, and I use that to prepare many, many dishes um, like vegetables, um, meats, and it adds quite a lot of flavor to the food that you're preparing. So I would definitely hold on to that bacon fat the next time you cook bacon. You can just get you a little mason jar. It doesn't have to be a big one depending on how much bacon fat that you intend to keep. Now I just keep one of the little little mason jars that are for jellies and jams. I just keep that full of bacon grease and uh, when I get low on that I can just refill it back up and keep it in the refrigerator and use when needed. Alright guys and another one is vinaigrette. Now I don't really buy lots of vinaigrettes from the store because they do add honey, sugars, and uh, stuff like that to sweeten it up but you can find like a sugar-free vinaigrette um, in your local store that would be great just be mindful of the oils that they put in there I kind of tend to make my own vinaigrettes with just a little bit of stevia um, herbs and spices and maybe some lemon juice or grapefruit juice or you know something like that lime juice and either olive oil or avocado oil and um, you can make a pretty good batch I keep that in one of those little mason jars as well and I keep that in the refrigerator for my salads or I can pour it over steaks or something like that to add just a bit more flavor to your meal so I would recommend making it at home because you know what's in it you know the quality of the oil you can sweeten it with your favorite um, sweetener such as stevia monk fruit xylitol whatever you want and you can keep it in the refrigerator and pull it out when you need it now it usually tends to last about a week or two depending um, so I would keep an eye on that and I would recommend using it within the week so that's what we do because it doesn't last that long in our house we pretty much top it on everything so I would look into making your own vinaigrettes alright guys and another one is mayonnaise now a lot of mayonnaise are loaded with really bad oils a lot of sugars and you do not want that you want to find the best mayonnaise for you now I would do Primal Kitchen's got really good mayonnaise they're made out of avocado oil um, or any other keto friendly mayo um, I like to use Dukes because there is absolutely no sugar in Dukes mayo but it does have um, a bad oil in it but that's the choice that I make because I like the flavor of Duke's mayo now you can use whichever one that you like just be mindful of what's on the ingredient list so just uh, look in your local grocery store you can look online and find which whichever one is good for you and your family so I would definitely check out the label on your mayonnaise to make sure it's not loaded with sugars and pick a mayo that's sugar free and it's got great avocado oil in it but for me personally I like Dukes and Dukes is keto friendly 
Um, it's more of like a dirty keto, lazy keto friendly and not so much a strict keto friendly, if that makes sense. And also, you can make your own mayo at home so that way you know exactly what is in your mayo and you can tweak the flavor to however you like it. Um, I know Two Crazy Ketos has a great mayo recipe. If you want, you can go check them out. Um, I make my own mayo every once in a while, but um, we go through mayo like it's no nobody's business because my husband and daughter love sandwiches and they make sandwiches all the time, so that's where all the mayo goes. Plus, I use it in my eggs for keto-friendly eggs, deviled eggs, stuff like that, so I always have mayo in the house. All right, and another one is ranch dressing. Now, full. make sure you get the full fat ranch dressing because it is more keto friendly than not keto friendly. So uh, just make sure you read the label and make sure it's not loaded with sugars and stuff like that. So um, you can also make this at home as well. There's many, many recipes out there that you can find online that's you can tweak at home and make it your own. I do make mayo, um, excuse me, I do make ranch dressing at home um, fairly often, especially when we don't have ranch dressing here. I will make it because I've always got the stuff to prepare ranch dressing. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely look into that so that way you know exactly what's in your ranch dressing. And mustard. Mustard is one of the most keto friendly condiments out there and you can use this for everything. There are so many mustards out there. You've got regular mustard, spicy brown mustard, you've got spicy mustard, you've got stone ground mustard and it's just a wide range of mustards out there that you can use on keto. Just find one that works for you and that's it. Now another one that is a little bit more on the you don't know list is ketchup. Ketchup is loaded with sugar. Heinz is loaded with sugar. So make sure that you get a sugar-free ketchup and make sure you read the label because some of those labels can be misleading. Um, they might say sugar-free on the back, but if you flip it over and uh, read the label, they've snuck some sugar in there. So just be mindful of the label on ketchup because I've picked up a few that said sugar-free on the label and just throwing it in the cart and getting home and finding out I can't eat it because there's sugar in there. Now, like I said before, a minimal amount of sugar is okay. Sometimes it's unavoidable. So just be mindful of the label. Make sure it's sweetened with a keto-friendly um, sweetener, monk fruit, xylitol, uh, stevia, something like that. I know I love the GH, GHUs or GHUs. That's the one that I like. They are a really, really great company and they make a wide range of sugar-free items. So check out their line and I'm sure you can find something that suits you within that line. And another thing that goes right along with ketchup is barbecue sauce. Now, I'm super, super picky when it comes to barbecue sauce. I don't know why. I've just always been that way. Um, I'm just super picky when it comes to barbecue sauce. Some of it just don't taste right. Some of it's got a funny aftertaste. Some of it's too spicy. Some of it's not spicy enough. Some of it's too tangy. Some of it's too sweet. You just can't really find that perfect balance of barbecue sauce. Now, G.H. Hughes has a great barbecue sauce. It's sugar-free, keto-friendly, and I love it. And coming from somebody who is very picky about their barbecue sauce, I absolutely love the G.H. Hughes 
G. Hughes, however you say it. I love that line of everything condiments because they have honey mustard, they have ketchup, they have barbecue sauce, and just a wide range of keto-friendly items that you can enjoy. So I would definitely, definitely check out that brand. Now I get mine at Walmart. Most of these items um, you can pick up at your local grocer or you can get from Walmart, Publix, Whole Foods, um, Costco. You can pick these up at any of those places because I've got them all there before. Definitely, definitely give that brand a try. And I am so stuffy today, you guys. I don't know why. I guess I'm getting a cold. But anyways, for the last one on my list, and this is something that is so underutilized in the keto community, I think because I out of all of the videos that I've seen, I've not seen that many people use this condiment. And for me personally, I love all things hot sauce. Now, there are so many brands of hot sauce out there. You've got Tabasco, you've got Heinz, you've got Kalula, Kalula, Cholula, however. Um, but they're all so great for the keto diet because um, as long as you make sure there's no bad oils in there, which there should not be oils in any Tabasco or any hot sauce, and there should not be any sugar in hot sauce because it's hot. Now, there are some out there that um, do put sugar in it for like the sweet heat type hot sauce, so um, I would definitely read the label on that before you pick that up. But as for most hot sauces, there's no sugar and no bad oils in there. And most of them are thickened with xanthan gum. So just make sure you read the label. Um, Frank's Red Hot is really great for keto. The Kalula, Cholula, I don't know guys. But that one is really good. I love Tabasco, I love Sriracha. All of those are something that I keep in my refrigerator at all times because you can just throw it on anything and it gives it so much flavor, not to mention a little kick. So that is something that I would definitely add into your condiment array into your refrigerator if you're looking for a boost of flavor and maybe a little kick. So definitely, definitely look into hot sauce. Now there's so many brands out there like I said so just pick one that's right for you and you should be okay. But as for me, I love Kalula, Tabasco, Sriracha, all of them. I love absolutely all of them. Even the Salsa Verde ones. I've seen some really really great Salsa Verde hot sauces out there that's got no sugar added, no preservatives added, and they're really, really great. So just make sure you read the label and pick one that's right for you. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you go out and you can find some great condiments that you can add into your daily keto routine. Um, just like I said before and many, many times, and I'll say this even later on down the road, read your label because it might say one thing on the front and mean something totally different on the back. So make sure you read your label before you buy any keto products because some of them are very, very sneaky. They might say keto or sugar-free on the front, but trust me, some of them are not. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite condiment is in your keto journey or just in your lifestyle. So I would love to hear what you guys' favorite condiment is. So make sure to leave that comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.